Hello creative ones, this is Robin, the artsy bohemian. Today I'm going to show you how to paint these cute little um, clothespins. So what you're gonna need are some clothespins. Obviously these are wood. You can usually get them at the dollar store. You're gonna need a, a, a jar of water, some paints, paint brushes, and maybe a towel just to wipe off your paintbrush. Um, so what I normally do is I will just take a whole strand of the clothespins um, and well this one isn't on this one sheet but you can take a piece if if you want to to um, make sure that they're all on all together so that you can paint a bunch of them all at once so so for example I would just leave all of these on here and paint them all so to paint the beginning of the uh, the base, I'm going to just use a larger paintbrush and um, I have these different colors here. You can use whatever color you want because whatever color you paint your base, you're going to be using the same technique to paint the, the roses. So um, I did one in black here so you can see the same thing and this one's in pink. You can do it in white, you can do orange, you can do whatever colors you want to. This, the process, like I said, for painting the roses is going to be the same. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just use this paintbrush, put a coat of this aqua color. This is actually this color here and mixed with white. It's kind of a darker, it's called uh, blue green and it's by Nova Color. Um, but really, you can just go to the craft store and get whatever colors you want. I use these a lot for um, my kits when I give kits to my students, and they make they make fun closures for the little bags the, the, that I put the kits in. Also, they're good for journals. You can use them to um, hold your journal pages when you're binding your book or your journal. You can use them just as decoration. They're just fun. They're fun. You can put glitter on them. So you're going to paint it all up, and I already have some painted and ready to go so we can move along here. Move this to the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to just put a, like a, a small blob of white. And I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I use a smaller paintbrush for this. Um, so this one's really small. This is a spotter. It doesn't have the number on it. I think it's, if it does, it's covered up. Or a number two um, round. So we'll go ahead and use the round. So I'm gonna, you're always gonna want to put a white on here as your base coat. Just like this. You just don't think about it too much. Kind of make it um, uneven. And then once it's dry, you're gonna take a co your color of your your flower so I just use pink and and um, red most of the time this one I used a really bright pink like a hot pink on it because I like the contrast on the black so you're going to take um, your red a little bit of red you can mix a little bit of white with it if you want to and just kind of go over that that quickly and the trick to, to to making it look a little bit more realistic is taking a little bit of white now and just kind of mixing it on there you can let that dry and then you can go back in and just touch it up with a little tiny bit more white but you can see just with a couple of brush strokes um, and not thinking about it too much it looks like a rose and then you're going to take um, a darker green which is this green here to make the leaves. Um, it is dark foliage green and then some yellow. Here's the dark foliage and just with a tiny bit of paint you're going to make two leaves. This part you have to be a little bit careful and then while it's still wet take a little bit of yellow and just go on one side of the leaf and that's it so I'm gonna dry this one quick a little bit so I can add a little bit more white and then that's it I 
probably actually do it on this one too. So just a tad bit of white. You could even take a, um, maybe I would try that if I have one, uh, a, a white uh, a roller pen, a gel pen. You could do that. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of white. And just go in there. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. If you add, if you do too much, it's just because it's so tiny, it's such a tiny flower, it's just going to muddy it up. So I'll do one more. I'll do this one here. And now I'm going to make it a little bit more pink. Just by mixing some red and some white. And just kind of swish it around. I can go back in there and add a little bit more, just a tiny bit of red. So I'm going one way and then the other way. One way, the other way. One way, the other way. And I'm going to go back in with a little bit of white and kind of move so I think the trick is just going this way and then this way you don't want to you don't want to do go this way this way this way this way see what happens it just kind of doesn't give it that nice random look so just one way and then the other way and one way and the other way and just try not to add too much to it okay, now I'm going to put some of the green for our leaves and we'll be done Always add a little bit of white if you want to, but these are super tiny and less is more. So I hope you enjoyed that. You get all these cute little flowers in a row once they dry, and then you can put, seal them if you want to with some Mod Podge or your, your sealer of choice, and they make nice little gifts. People really like them. They're cheery, they're fun, and they're they're not too expensive to make. Um, I will probably still keep doing the Edith Holden series. I just had um, some people ask for me to do this, so I thought I would do it for the Tuesday tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.